Dr. May? Good morning. It's time to take your medicine. Bombastic side eye. No, Miss Applewood. There'll be no side eyeing today. Now take your medicine. <sighs> you really thought you ate that? No, I don't. But you need to eat your medicine. No, I don't want my medication. I want girl dinner. After you take your medicine. Girl dinner. No, please don't start singing again. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. All right, unplug your life support. Sapplewood, you soiled yourself. Come on, let's go and get you cleaned up. No, I'm in my pooping my pants era. What happened to your clean girl era? Let's bring that back. Clean girl aesthetic. Exactly. Now let's go get washed up. You're giving me the ick. You're giving me the ick because you smelled so bad. Where'd you get that? What are you eating? My husband. Today we will be making our last girl dinner. Miss Applewood, are you on your phone again? Your grandchildren don't want you to have too much screen time. Mind your business, Susan! What is our dessert? Moldy muffins, yes. That's my favorite food. I need my glasses. Cake, no, no, no. Too sweet, too sweet. Need some mold on it. Pizza, no, no. Too cheese. Too much cheese. No. Yes. Yes. Toenail clippings. What's my drink? Wash it all down with the 7-Up. Good. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. Oh, no, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait, let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal, what game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Sweetie, is it time for school? Yes, I think so. Sweetie, you need to ask, what time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 8 a.m. It's time for school. Mmm, lunchtime. Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 12 p.m. It's time for everybody to eat lunch. Except Timmy. It's time for Timmy to be my lunch. No, Mr. Wolf, please! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for me to eat you. <laughs> Brianna, you need to ask Mr. Wolf what time it is. Hurry! What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 3 p.m. It's time for everyone to go home. It's time to go home. I'll see you tomorrow, bestie. Stay safe. You too. Mom, I'm home. I'm so hungry. Mom, is it time for dinner? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? 
It is 5 p.m. It's time for me to have my dinner. <laughs> Mom. Sissy, where's Mommy? It's time for dinner. She's just sleeping. Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? Why is there a timer above my head? Sissy, hurry. You need to ask. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Ask what? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? What time is it, Mr. Who? Mr. Wolf! Mr. Wolf! Uh-oh. Looks like little sissy ran out of time. It's time to be my no. meal. <laughs> Go away. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for school. You're late. I don't care. I'm not going. My mom and sister are gone. What? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? It is 9 a.m. It's time for you to go to school. I told you I'm not going. Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Brianna, I told you not to make any promises. Now you'll have a permanent mark until you fulfill your promise. Does anyone have a hair tie I can borrow? Yeah, here. Just promise me you'll give it back. Yes, of course. I promise. Sup, babe. Hey. I got you flowers. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. Promise me one day we'll get married. I promise. What university are you applying to? Harvard, of course. Um, you don't know? No what? You can't get into Harvard with any unfulfilled promises. They're very prestigious. I gotta go. I gotta get rid of all these marks! Is that even possible? I promise you, it is. Here's your hair tie back. Seriously, you're giving it back now? I don't even want it anymore. Well, you need to take it. I need to fulfill all my promises and get into Harvard, so... No, I don't want it. Take it! Okay, jeez! Thank you. You're so much better than my girlfriend. Hey! Babe, it's not what it looks like. I was, uh, giving her CPR. Come on. We're going to get married right now. And then... We're going to get a divorce. Wait, but I don't want to. Let's go. The only marks I have left is to fulfill all my promises and become famous. How am I going to become famous? Hmm, let's brainstorm some ideas. <gasps> I know. I'm going to post thirst traps on TikTok. Brianna, no. How'd the video do? Did it get any views? Yeah, a lot of views. Then why don't you look happy? Everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> we saw your TikTok video. You thought you looked so hot. <laughs> Whatever. At least I'm famous. Oh, yeah. You're famous, all right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm famous. Not the way I want it to be, but hey, at least my promises are fulfilled. Um, Brianna, you still have one mark left. What? Look. No. No, no, no. My last promise was to fulfill all of my promises, and I did. I think that's sort of like a lifelong promise. You could always try Yale. Brianna, you can't cover up your mark. They'll find out. How would they find out? I have to get into Harvard. It's my dream. Hi, I'm here to interview for Harvard. We've been expecting you. Come this way. Welcome to the Harvard interview. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. All right, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise, but I meet every other requirement and then some. The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone, but how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey mom, the interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting into Harvard dishonestly. Your interview is tomorrow. You make a great candidate for Harvard. Thank you so much, sir. Good morning. I made you lunch. Thank you, mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you. Hello, best friend. Hello. Watch out for the... Ow! Table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm. I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. 
You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. Yeah. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is to stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. <laughs> Mother, don't cry. You'll get caught. Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school and now she's gone forever. Mother, I love you. Hey, what you said worked. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. Can you help me? Did you just get an emoji? I did. My soulmate's a brunette. He's just my type. Really? Mine's blonde. Baby, won't you lose my way? I can be your new My soulmate loves reading. He's just like me. I'm so excited to meet him one day. Oh, I just got a car emoji. Maybe he drives? An ambulance? Hey, do you know what? Ambulance might need? I don't know. Maybe he's gonna be a paramedic when he's older? Yeah, I'm sure it's that. Oh, no. You got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is. No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. Brianna, wait. Where are you going? I'm going home. I just got a call. Oh, no. And a police car? I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. And then my soulmate. He looks like he's hiding or something. Oh my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? Eight. But you'll only be 17. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I've met so far are just not for me. Hello, princess. Prince William. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather drop dead. <laughs> well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? What if I like a princess? Two princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. Ella! This is absolutely preposterous. What kind of objection would you have to our marriage? I object because I want to marry her, and I know that she feels the same way. Ugh, that's absolutely rancid. Two princesses cannot marry. They won't accept our marriage. I know. How about we elope? Little baby, don't you cry. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. No, you can't sing a lullaby. Shh, the baby's sleepy. Wake up, wake up! <coughs> Why did you do that? Why were you singing a lullaby? The baby was crying, so I wanted her to sleep. Lullabies are used for population control. When you sing a lullaby, the person will fall asleep immediately. And if they don't wake up before the timer ends, they'll die. Hey girl, I have a favor. Sure, what's up? I... I need you to sing me a lullaby. No, you'll die. My mom says everyone should start practicing waking up before the timer ends. The government's encouraging people to sing more lullabies to decrease population. Okay, I'll do it. Twinkle, twinkle, <coughs> little star. How I wonder what you are. Wake up, wake up! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, wake up!
Stephanie has been eliminated. Attention everyone. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows. Wake up! Wake up! Cradle I gotta get out of here. The music stopped. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Wake up! Wake up! She stopped singing? Why was the principal singing a lullaby on the intercom? The government's encouraging it. They said they're going to start offering rewards to people who help decrease the population. That's horrible. Rock a bye, baby. Rock a bye, baby, in the treetop. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, stop, stop. Star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a. Can't. Timmy, wake up! I can't be a killer! Timmy has been eliminated. You've got money. Papa, black sheep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Everyone's lost their minds. Babe, come with me. Thanks for getting me out of there, babe. It's not safe here. I need to go home. You should too. I love you. I love you too, babe. That's why I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. What? Ba ba black sheep, have you any? So, how was the kiss? It was alright. Thanks, Professor. Only two more to go and then I can finally meet my soulmate. Good luck. Brianna, who's next on your list? Eugene. That'll be easy. He's such a nerd. Hey, Eugene. Basically, in quantum physics, what do you want? Want a kiss? I don't know. I'm kind of out of your league. <laughs> Eugene, just give me a chance. Please, please. I guess. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want anyone finding out about this. Trust me. Neither do I. Thanks, Eugene. You're so mid. <laughs> Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I had to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. I'll make things weird. Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. It'll make things weird. Jason. Buddy. Bud. <laughs> Why are you acting weird? You're the last person on my kiss list. And then I can meet my soulmate, so... No, Brianna, I can't kiss you. We're best friends. It'll make things weird. Are you serious right now? Jason, how about you kiss me on the cheek? That way, things won't be weird. I guess that's fine. It didn't work. It has to be on the lips. See ya. Wait! Jason, you're being a bad friend. A real friend would help me find my soulmate. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. Brianna, the real reason I don't want to kiss you is because I don't want you to find your soulmate. Why not? Because I'm in love with you. <laughs>